hello folks, this is Wesley Virgin, your master motivator, master virtual trainer here with 7dayfitness.com. And folks, I know you've been waiting diligently and seriously on my video about the law of attraction, but I wanted to pause for a second. I had a very interesting conversation with my father today, and we talked about being flexible, being open. And I had to think back, sometimes... You know, actually, maybe a couple of years ago, I was so dogmatic in my beliefs. You know, just, just how it was. And I don't want to hear about it. And sometimes I'd be so belligerent with other people. I would argue. I would fight because my belief was so strong. And you know what? That same belief that I had put me in the same devastating and terrible position I was a couple of years ago. And what I want to share with you is this. It is important imperative you must be flexible in today's time the belief that you have today the thoughts the ideals are constantly changing and we must be careful because see the same beliefs that you have today may be stopping that opportunity for tomorrow it may be it, 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 it may be putting that shield on that block on the greatness, on the happiness that you desire, that you want. See, in my opinion, you know, something, you know, so I, I'm, I'm a self-critical person, you know. I'm always, I'm looking at myself and I want to be better. I want to be a better speaker. Um, you know, my health and fitness, I want to take that to another level. But folks, folks, it is so important to be flexible. It is so important to understand some things are changing. See, the thing is, I, I, want, I want happiness. I want more money. I want a great relationship. I want to be married. But see, the thing is, I must concentrate on self. I must work on self. Self must be flexible. But see, sometimes as people are Wesley, I'm selfish. And I can be so dogmatic to the point that I won't listen to anyone. But see, the person that I'm not listening to is the person that may give me the thing I'm waiting to receive. And sometimes I believe we miss our blessings that way. Sometimes I believe that the universe has its hands open, ready to give you exactly what you want. But you're so stubborn. You're so ignorant. That you don't see it. So folks, I just wanted to share that with you. You know, man, my father, he's a great, wonderful man. He's a pastor of a, a beautiful church here in the Houston, Texas area. He helps so many people. He's definitely, uh, he's, he, he, in my opinion, the definition of selfless service will be Pastor Virgin. He has abnegated himself to people and to most of all, Jesus Christ. But see, the thing is, now he's more flexible. The teachings that he have taught maybe 20, 30 years ago, he was learning he has to change. He has to transition with the times because we have different people. We have a different generation. And how we communicate to those folks or to that generation is somewhat different. So folks, sometimes when you're complaining, in blaming your situation, your issue, your spouse, your boss, your manager, your kids. Think about the belief that you have. That issue. Take five minutes out of your day and say, you know, ask yourself a question. Wesley, why do I believe that? You know, why do I believe that maybe I have to go to this job that I hate? Why do I believe that I have to continue to take this type of turmoil or this type of aggression from my relationship? Why do I believe that, you know, some some kind of funny, you know, her grandmama, she always take the pan and she grease it first or she put some, I don't know, I don't cook, maybe she put some fixing in there and you know, then she put the turkey on top. But she always does it that way. 
and you'll find yourself always doing it that way. That's just a funny example, but see, folks, to, in our seriousness, you have to be cautious of the beliefs that you have today because it could be stopping you from experiencing greatness. It may be stopping you from being promoted at your job. It's stopping you from receiving that financial growth that you're waiting for in your life. It may be stopping you from being in a relationship with that wonderful, beautiful mate that you're looking for. Folks, be open and be flexible. Learn to bend a little bit. Think about your beliefs. Five minutes a day. This is what I want you to do for the next week. Five minutes a day, some of the beliefs or some of the things that you're stubborn about, some of the things that you say, I'm not going to change. That's how it is. As long as it's not immoral and unethical, I want you to think about some of these beliefs. And once you figure it out, once you finally say, you know what, wow, hmm, this is why I believe it, because granddaddy did it. This is why I believe it, because my mama always did it this way. My daddy, he always went to church on Sunday. He always went to church on Thursday. Is that the reason why I do it? Folks, this is Wesley Virgin. Your master motivator and master virtual trainer. And I want you to be flexible. Quick to listen and slow to speak. Be flexible about your beliefs. Live with passion.